Hey guys, I'm Jackson Insane, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1. Now, if you remember from the last time, Glenn got stuck in the motor inn, and we're about to go help him, so I gotta take Carly to go. Hey, Carly. So if I talk to her, we should be able to go help him. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor <laughs> trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Grumpy face, Glenn. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> okay. So what do I gotta do? What do I gotta be sneaky? <clears throat> Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. She's in the room. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Oh. I'll take a look. I'm gonna take a nap. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not naked. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Wait, did I have the option to use the pillow on it? Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. <laughs> Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay, what was this way? They really want to get into that room. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Yeah, wait, that's it. Yeah, that's it right now. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Touché, Something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Can I use the bell on him? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! Yeah. 
See the spark plug. Also, inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Not true. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Hey, amen. Like two more. Hands. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. He said lag behind, don't be right behind. Christ. Some people just make no sense. from the outside if she's inside. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, she we're can't. coming in. I'm 
coming out. Is she bit? You're hurt. Oh God. I, oh. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. <laughs> just leave me. Please go. So she's on the brink of dying. That's all Glenn can think of. Sex. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably do that. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Give it to her rather than putting it on the floor. Thank you so it's much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Oh my God, I haven't got all okay. Right now, I... You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. I do try. At least I don't have to watch it. <laughs> now you should leave as fast as you can because the sound will be tracked more. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Now we gotta get those keys. Would the axe work on the lock? It says I still have it, so might as well go find out. Yeah. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I presume I could use the brick. Um, is that how I could get that to be loud? Yeah, let's try that. He seems to be doing it, so it's always a good sign. you 
there. I want to die for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Oh, shit. What's wrong with you, dude? I the family. I mean, you know what I mean. That was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Slowly running out of time. I think I'm getting close to the end. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. She has a screwdriver on her shoulder. Which doesn't seem to be moving with her body properly. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Oh, and Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I ain't got doors not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, shit! What? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the hands of us? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, <laughs> did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, wait! The window is screwed! Go! I found something!
somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Jesus. Alright, we're we'll back at the motel. Alright, oh, those look all right. Once again, so many questions, so little answers. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I presume this is when he goes back to the ground and, um, spoiler alert, saves Rick in the series. Oh, well, that's only like episode two of season one. No, oh, season one. It's episode one, actually. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. I, you guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. <clears throat> This really feels like it could be the end of the episode. Hey, kid. So, Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have I to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. <clears throat> yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? It doesn't look very Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... Just like the little I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, I it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Oh. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish you would have picked her. Well, I decided because Clementine was looking at him. So I felt that I should do what Clem wanted and save Doug. That's logical, right? It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. 
Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Did he just threaten a murderer for being a murderer with murder? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. So next time, do you guys want to be pumped for what might happen next? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. So you're about to find Never it. expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last Thank time you. you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! But that is that. So yeah, um, episode two will come at some point. I don't know when. I don't know. I've got um, quite a bit to do. So yeah, if you want me to carry on, just write in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything you want me to do, like any games or anything. Once again, comments below. Just let me know. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like, favorite, subscribe, wherever you want, wherever you can. And, yeah, I shall see you in the next video.